commas when do we use commas to show a small pause when a sentence is completed you put full stop but in a sentence when you have to show a pause then a comma is used suppose in your saying i want pen pencil eraser sharpener then you put comma every time because you are listing the things you want all those things you put comma in between the phrases also you put the comma because it shows a small pause he came uh, he saw he conquered you put a comma so uh, there is a small pause even for the clauses when the clauses gets completed you put a comma so it uh, the it shows the small pause now you use comma for other in other places also like interjection interjection is a strong feeling is oh well so that time you have to put comma o oh, comma interjection is strong feeling after that pause you start your sentence oh i didn't know you were out of town so your this pause after that interjection oh well you put a comma now direct and indirect speech in direct speech you have to put comma whoever put the name then put comma and what is said you put in inverted commas inverted commas is putting two commas up the sentence should be in inverted commas the commas are put up to show what that person has said before that you put a small comma you put a comma below so mega said comma then inverted comma you said whatever uh, i will definitely perform better next time noun phrase is added immediately now you should know what is a position noun in a position now virat kohli whichever the most of the time it is for the famous personality virat kohli the great player the great cricketer so the great cricketer virat kohli both the noun they are in a position they complete each other so whenever it is noun in a position virat kohli put comma the great cricketer then whatever you want to tell about virat kohli now here the example given in your book is jk rowling he is a famous writer so uh, the famous british writer so after the name jk rowling you put a comma the famous british writer is writing another novel so it can be for actor or whatever it is most of the time for the famous uh, personalities so remember noun in a position to noun which cannot be separated they complete each other but there will be a comma in between a small pause now more than one adjective you might have uh, some uh, uh, adjectives are given to uh, any one for qualities maybe he is very smart sharp intelligent so smart comma sharp comma intelligent uh, comma and you can go on for many more qualities so whatever the many adjectives when something is described or someone is described by many adjectives then every time you put comma now here it was a long dull tiring day so day has got this adjective long dull tiring so every time for describe after the adjective you will be putting comma so you should not make any mistake in writing the uh, comma you should always use when there is a pause and Uh, for punctuation, if you don't put comma, then your marks will be deducted.